Hey, Shazam15 here. This week's film was Friends with Benefits. Now, I have to say, it's rare to see a film where the trailer gives you so little clue as to what's actually going to happen in the film. Okay, the key events, yes, they're quite clearly demonstrated in the trailer. However, the actual relationships between the characters are a little bit more confusing. They're very different from what you expect from the trailer. Anyway, that's just a weird little thing. Um, right, overall, decent film. Kind of confusing as to where they're going. Because, on the one hand, they go with the Friends with Benefits. It's fun while it lasts, but it swiftly gets complicated. And so you can either find true love, or you can ruin a friendship. It's a bit... It's sort of confusing as to whether or not they see Friends with Benefits as a good thing or a bad thing. If it's... It's kind of confusing. Once again, there is an Alzheimer's dad. I'm not sure what's going on with Hollywood with that. Is it Alzheimer Awareness Year? I don't know. Uh, let's see. It's nice to see, ooh, name blanking, Dharma from Dharma and Greg playing a decent role again. She plays the sister. It works quite well. Right, Malikun is beautiful in this. There's some, also some wonderful performances from lots of people. Although, I have to say, I still don't believe Justin Timberlake is an actor. He just doesn't work that well. It w it's not exactly helped by the fact that the character here is pretty much... Well, apart from the background, is pretty much Justin Timberlake, as evidenced by the Criss Cross thing. It's a horrible little bit, but everyone knows this from the trailer. Anyway, uh... I've got to admit, having had some of these relationships myself, can I can emphasize with some bits. There's some wonderful scenes with where you can actually get some empathic sense memory going on. It's quite nice there. Uh, what are the bad things? What are the bad things? What are the bad things? Plot lines fairly predictable, a little bit cheesy. Relationships are a bit meh. Um, yeah, uh, I'd say it's good, but it could have been better. That's the general gist of it. Um, yeah, uh, basically, the way it could have been better is if it was, I don't know if it was a casting or a directing issue, but... Although you can't really put your finger on what needs improving, you do feel there's, need, there's room for improvement. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, the basic idea is it's one of those... It's a bit like the ugly truth. You've got a character which thinks romance is all there. Oh, and 27 dresses and that sort of thing in regards to the female lead thinks it's a load of it's a waste but wouldn't it be nice but at the same time she doesn't believe it and then it happens to her uh that's about it really uh yeah Milo Kunis beautiful and incredible in this uh Justin Timberlake still not buying him as an actor doesn't help he's basically playing Justin Timberlake um a supporting cast fantastic Woody Allen, okay, yeah, but not Woody Allen, uh, Woody House and Woody, whatever the heck his surname is. Anyway, he's got a little bit. Uh, I also sometimes feel that the girl that is supposedly used to explain the situation to Justin Timberlake's character which the dad was in love with before his mother... That wasn't really exploited to the full extent that it could be, because I always felt that there was something missing out of that. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Room for improvement. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to watch it, enjoy. It's quite a good film for a rom-com. Well, I quite like rom-com, so I would say that. Anyway, have fun.